Okay, friends and neighbors, it's our big blizzard in 2013. February 9, 10, I forget. Uh, supposedly 26 inches, and from what I've seen, I would not doubt it. I cleared out the bird feeder because they were all gathered around looking for something to eat. And I think it's going to be a while before they're going to see the ground. And then I dug out the stupid walkway and you can see it's pretty deep. Won't be, uh, won't be firing up that grill anytime soon, I reckon. Here's the street corner of the new street from when they paved the road a few years ago. And we'll just take a peek at what's going on here. Looks like uh, the fire hydrant's been taken care of, so I don't have to do that, which is cool. Our driveway, front of the little house, little 1953 house, neighbor's house, and down the road. It's lovely. It's a winter wonderland. Here we have the house next door and we can certainly see which direction the wind was blowing last night because it has drifted like crazy into the corner. Wow! Absolutely wacky amounts of snow. We may have a few more bands to deal with. Lovely. 26 inches and counting according to the news. And I'm gonna get my uh, sorry cold self back into the house and have about eight more cups of coffee and then maybe the next time I come out to shovel some more I can have a heart attack and uh, that'll be cool. Here are the birds out for a good feast and there's been quite a few of them all morning and I'm glad I cleared it all out for them because uh, we've had jays, we've had cardinals, even had a couple of those weird ground dove things that live around here plus all these little guys So they're, uh, they're hanging in there through the winter. They don't fly south. They come up here and they just deal with it with the rest of us. Good for them. Had enough snow to paralyze Washington, D.C. about 14 times last night. But it's no big deal. You just shovel it out and you keep going. And there goes the plow truck for probably the 25th time. Down around the corner. Hey, come back. To me. To my driveway. Ah, wait a minute. I forgot. I already did my driveway. You can see I haven't cleaned the car off yet. It's running. Oh, looks like I left the wipers on intermittent. Yeah, it's more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Not that I ever thought that sounded like so much fun. Oh, we're down the street here. And the lady next door is about 80 years old. I'm going to help her do some shoveling because I'd be ashamed of myself if I didn't. I don't really want to, but I will. Governor Patrick told us early this morning that maybe around midday he might make uh, some consideration for lifting the travel ban or at least deciding how long the travel ban will stay in a day. So probably right around this time, I think they're going to reassess uh, how everything's going, how clear the roads are, uh, what parts of the state are, are easier to pass on the roads than, than others and uh, then they will consider uh, lifting uh, probably in various parts. They, they'll probably tell you, you know, certain counties will, will open up, uh, that they'll be open to, uh, to uh, driving. When that happens, whether it's today or tomorrow, that still remains unclear. Okay, the show's over. It's about noon. And uh, any snow you see falling is coming from trees. There's the bird feeder cleared that off pretty early in the morning because they were all there. There were about 20 birds waiting for me like, uh, hey, where's our food? Most of it was under the snow. The feeder was still functional, of course, but there, there was drifted snow blocking the seeds. So I cleaned all that off, did my good deed for the day for the wildlife. I've had all the birds and rodents coming around, and uh, I think we saw those guys earlier anyway. So I'm going to take another snow measurement 
I'm guessing about 22 to 24. They said 26 for Walpole, which is the next town over, uh, but you could measure any any 10 spaces and get 10 different readings. So I'll take a uh, tape measure, go over there, take a little measurement, unofficial and uh, unscientific though it may be, and we'll just uh, put a number on this thing. back in a few months and it will all be in the cellar till about June. Okay, here's the bride cleaning off her car. I hope she uh, has kind words for me when she comes in because I cleared out the end of the driveway and all the snow in between the cars, leaving her only to clean the car off, which I think was more decent of me than uh, is usual. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon now, I guess, and uh, the show's over. The snow has ended, but the travel ban is still in effect. Yeah, I'm always afraid one of these big pine trees is going to come crashing down on the house, and I'll show you why. But although we have taken some hits over the years from that one on the, the right side of the house, uh, for whatever reason, in 60 years, the house has never been demolished by these large pine trees. And here's the bride shoveling away, doing the end of the driveway, opening it up. And the neighbor's out. He was good enough to snow blow the really bad stuff, the bead at the end of the driveway. So. All in all, it could have been worse. We didn't lose power. We didn't get shelled by large branches, such as uh, that one right there that kind of hangs over the house. That tree is a real freak. So no power loss, uh, no real bad outcomes, all in all. And there's the bride. Hello, bride. Hello, everybody out there in America. Well, I've had a full day, and it's only about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I've shoveled and shoveled and shoveled. I've fed birds in the cold snow. I've helped an 80-year-old lady shovel herself out. I'm half a Boy Scout. I may have punched my ticket to heaven, should it actually exist. Travel ban still on for another couple of hours. I'm about to take a walk down to the lake. See how it looks. See what's going on around the neighborhood. Two feet of snow down here on the lake. That will be it for the pond skating for this year. It will be officially over with. But it sure is pretty. You have the weak sun and uh, real bite in the air, real chilly. Well, guess what? Even if it hadn't snowed two feet on the lake, there would be no pond skating this year anyway because when I went to get my skates there were mice living in them and they had eaten all of the lining from the tongue of the skate so the excitement's over and it's time to relax with a piping hot caffeinated beverage Bottoms up, baby. Bottoms up. 